first off, we are back. We are back after a nine month hiatus. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we basically gave birth. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's our <laughs> hiatus baby. Yes, the hiatus baby. You know, it's it was to give birth to our personal lives because uh, <laughs> I feel like we've been doing YouTube for what, seven years? Yeah, dude. Seven, eight years straight. I am. Um, That's wild. Yeah. yeah. This video is really for the real ones. It's for the OGs. So all the comments on this video will be, I guess. Do you want to? Yeah. I would, I would think so because this is so, because we know the real ones will watch this. Mm -hmm. That's true. Right? And we're, I think we're going to keep this in actually because oh, yeah. this is, this is really us. Yeah. Because uh, I'm okay with it. Yeah. But if you guys are not okay with it, then I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good with it. We know what people are going to ask. React yeah. to this, react That's to that. True. That's true. And this is more just like the update on what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and why did we take a nine month break? And also, what is going to happen to this channel moving forward? Yes. So what happened to Fresh Bomb? Honestly, for the past few years, um, it's hard for us to even, I guess, meet up like once a yeah. week. Even once a week, it's like once yeah, every. We don't, two. Yeah, we don't meet up once a week anymore before. Yeah, like it was, it was hard to really adjust our schedules together. Because it is like a, a team effort, right? Yes. It, it, for sure, you guys are going to ask like a bunch of questions if one of us just shows up on the video and be like, where's the others, right? Mm -hmm. It's to the point that I feel like whenever we do communicate with each other during that, that period, okay, we meet up with each other, we film the videos, we eat, we dip. That's it. Nothing else. Yeah, we've been just so freaking busy. So yeah, after we released our last video, we unfortunately, like, we hung out. And uh, unfortunately, we got COVID like while we were eating out. Justin and I uh, ended up getting COVID, and that kind of like ruined a lot of our plans for that like mm -hmm. December or like around that Christmas time. I didn't try to date it. Yeah, it was around Christmas. I didn't get yeah. to even see my family during Christmas. Yeah. So and I and like I was just staying in my room. Like I did like a two week like. Um, what's that called? Oh, quarantine. Like quarantine. Quarantine. Yeah. yeah, I quarantined, and so like and. I'm not gonna lie, COVID hit me hard. I was like, mucus everywhere, yeah. dude. And I was like, headache, something, right? But yeah, so basically, after that, we got kind of like, we couldn't really hang out with each other or like do anything because we were just like doing, dealing with COVID. Yeah, man, that was a scary time, man. We couldn't see each other and you didn't know how bad you were gonna get COVID. After they got COVID, uh, we were in a lockdown for about a month or two. And then after that, uh, our personal lives just got really busy and we couldn't film. Uh, yeah, just life got in the way, you know. What a personal life. Yeah, personal lives. Yeah, personal lives hit and you know, we just couldn't meet up and it was also scary to meet up because who knows if we could get COVID again, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah like we wanted to keep each other safe too. And uh, yeah, as much as we wanted to make those videos for y'all, uh, it like life just got busy and yeah, here, here, here we are now. What has Fresh Bowen been up to? For me, uh, you know, I've just been working. Uh, I recently got promoted. Well, not recently, but a couple, in 2021, I got promoted in my job. So uh, I had a lot more responsibilities at work. Also recently this year, 2022, uh, I moved into a condo with my Ooh. girlfriend. And yeah, I've just been busy. Uh, moving in and you know having adulting responsibilities he's taking it. yeah it's crazy <laughs> life he's taking it. Taking it. <laughs> yeah life is just going by so fast and you know I, like i still try to find time to hang out with the boys whenever we can that's that's really it that's, that's, <laughs> i just uh, living life i actually like i started like last year, I started streaming last year, but I started taking it more seriously this year. And I'm streaming on Twitch. I just play games. I played a lot of Genshin Impact at one point, but now I'm playing a lot of Monster Hunter. So if you guys know, don't. If you guys don't, it's fine. I'll probably be playing more games in the future, but right now it's just a lot of Monster Hunter. And yeah, and I've also been running a, a YouTube channel 
also like separate from this one. It's more of a gaming channel and it's just like for fun. So my Twitch name or like YouTube or my other channel is just Sedkun underscore. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of content for that stuff. At some point, I think I'm gonna be making Gundams. Ooh. So maybe. Or playing Elden Ring because I recently got that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if you guys just wanna like kind of like chill on a stream or like I don't know, see different content from me, I guess. Yeah. Then yeah, follow. feel free to come by and watch. Check. Follow him, guys. Twitter is the best way, also. Exactly. Like, to find out what stuff I'm doing. I'm, it's very surprising because we have a fresh bow on Twitter, and I feel like. <laughs> We don't use it at all. <laughs> yeah. And Sergio's been using his Twitter more than Fresh Bond. I've never in the past like four years. Twitter? Like, I've never used Twitter like ever since like three months ago. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. I just do mm -hmm. random stuff on What well, happened, eh? In the past yeah. nine months. I'm wearing this. I'm wearing this. I'm wearing Nobara from Jujutsu Guys. Yep. Yeah, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say. Also check out Man Became Weeb. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can't tell on his channel. When I had COVID, um, for Christmas, one of the presents was mango. And let's just say I've been collecting a crap load of mango. And uh, some of you already know I have my own YouTube channel where I do a bunch of random videos, play games, um, now honestly talk about anime make random sketches, I, it's just gonna be a, a mixed bag of stuff. And you'll see the guys there too as well. Yes. Um, but that's sort of what I've been up to. Work-wise, oh my gosh, my full-time job, my day job, I work like a lot, a lot of hours. So that's also why, and it's to the point where like, I, I guess I'm in the, the mode for like getting a promotion. So I have to really push and grind. So that's really why I, I feel, for my part, I haven't really been focused with the Fresh Ball and stuff, and on, honestly with my other YouTube stuff. But, personal lives, always have a break. <laughs> have a personal life mm -hmm. <laughs> outside of YouTube. It's This is our time skip part. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's our time skip. What happened to us? We're becoming <laughs> Shippuden. <laughs> yeah, we're becoming Shippuden. <laughs> That's why this video will probably have not not as many edits because mm -hmm. yeah. this is raw. Do we still listen to K-pop? Yes? Question mark? I do still listen to K-pop, but my most exposure to K-pop is through TikTok. Most of the time. I know that's a weird way to say it, but uh, okay. I don't really go out looking for it, but there are still some artists that I like looking forward to. Like of course, BTS, Twice, Mamamoo. And I still listen to like a lot of K R and B, so, but I'm not really like looking or going out of my way to keep up. It's just too much for me right now, <laughs> right? Uh, it's just too much for me to keep up with like all the new groups that's coming out. So I haven't been able to really like listen in that sense. Mm -hmm. Similar with me, I've been on the TikTok uh, grind as well. Follow me if you guys want. Um, <laughs> Plug, plug, plug. Snazzy XE. Hey. Yeah. Um, for me, I, I, we have a group chat, and I'm just like, I listened to a K-pop song for the first time in a long time. <laughs> I haven't really listened to too much K-pop, and it's, yeah. I think out of yeah, out of, out of all the guys, like these guys, I listened to K-pop the longest uh, since like 2000. Nine, ten. Mm -hmm. So it's it's different. I listen to a lot of the older stuff, uh, and I think I'm gonna end it right there. Okay. Your turn, <laughs> uh, Well, unlike these guys, I don't have a TikTok, so <laughs> I I can't. Really, I don't really know the latest K-pop songs unless I go on uh, Spotify, K-pop <laughs> Daybok. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, for me, I. I listen to Korean R&B, some Korean rap, and uh, for K-pop, I, I do listen to the new like B, uh, BTS tracks because um, I really like their their songs. But um, K-pop, like the the new Go groups, not as much. Uh, even the Twice stuff, like the Japanese stuff, I haven't I haven't listened to it much. But yeah, I still listen to Korean music, just not the just not the mainstream K-pop. 
Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's it, yeah. Basically through other exposures is how like yeah. how we get like how we found out there's new songs. On Spotify. Usually yeah, for yeah. me I see the songs on Spotify, that's it. I occasionally listen to some old K pop too. Yeah. Some uh, Sistar, especially during this uh, summer, I was listening to a lot of Sistar. Oh, yeah. This is just a vibe, you know. Yeah. I, I can't find any like any new groups that can match those vibes. Okay, I'm slandering. <laughs> no, <laughs> slandering. No, I gotta That's stop. stop. I gotta stop. <laughs> That's why I had to cut it there. I gotta, stop. I gotta <laughs> cut it there, bro. <laughs> but it's good. It. It's good though. <laughs> okay, okay. It's good though. Yeah, I will good. say this: though. you really can't, I guess, escape BTS because your mom is a huge army. Yeah, it's oh, a yeah. Thing. My mom's a huge army. That's and, wild. <laughs> and every time we drive, man, my mom just wants to listen to BTS. I gotta put that. I <laughs> thought it would be the opposite. I know, right? <laughs> it's like she's such a That's huge so army. Cute, though. It's crazy. <laughs> mom, you wanna listen to SB19? <laughs> <laughs> I did introduce them, uh, and then she was like, "Is this the Tagalog?" Are we still K-pop fans? Yeah, actually, yeah, I am. I am. You know, I, I'm. I'm always. I think once I, like, once you become a K-pop fan. I think you'll always, you'll always become a K-pop <laughs> fan, but it's just the the intensity of being a K-pop fan will be will like it will vary to towards like how much you actually like it, you know? Because for me, back in twenty when when we started Fresh Ballon back in twenty sixteen, well, at least when I joined, you know, my my love, I was a very big K-pop fan. But now, as I got older, and you know, I like my taste change and I, i'm still a k-pop fan but just not as much as before true so you, to answer the question yes i'm still a k-pop fan all right yeah i'm a, a freaking k-pop grandpa you're a grandpa <laughs> i've been there since the second generation uh -huh. am i still a k-pop fan as i said in the previous answer in the previous question i listen to all the older stuff the new stuff well, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> in the new video, it is. <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I am a K-pop fan still. Like, I still read all like the tabloids every single day, even though I don't listen. So yeah, I think uh, I haven't listened to anything new in nine months. It's all like older stuff. Mm -hmm. um, actually, wait, maybe BTS because they play on the radio, but like I try to avoid it because. I'm like, well, how can we do a reaction? I know, right? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So I get anxiety from that, but yeah. I, I just don't do it anymore. I just yeah. like, oh, if I hear it, I hear it, whatever. That's true. So are you still K-pop, man? Oh, um, I would say generally, yeah. I like, I'll still look forward to like certain groups that I really like. Like if I see, again, Twice, BTS, Mamamoo, and more so and so forth. Like if I see groups that I like, definitely. And I feel like I, just being in like, because being a fan, you definitely get your like certain taste, and then like newer like sometimes newer like groups just don't hit that for you. Mm -hmm. So it's like, so of course I'm just like not really like just keeping up. Because like back in the day, you would be more like, oh, every, like every K-pop song like you like like because because it was, yeah. was K-pop because it was like generalization or like a little <laughs> bit of like because you're that of a fan <laughs> if you did. No, I'm gonna say it. Like, <laughs> no, you're you're on your. You can your, say it. No, you're on your thing, man. You can say I, it. Okay, I'll say it. This is for the real one, and y'all y'all know this, okay? Back in my day, there was a like a track every freaking week that's like you're just listening to on repeat. Exactly. Tell me how it's like. It's not like that anymore. Yeah. It's really not. Yeah. But yeah, like so. And I think like just like you know you find your taste and it's just more like oh yeah I like this type of music mm -hmm. or maybe I like I really like the way this music video because sometimes it's for the music video as well yeah mm -hmm. um, and then so like generally I'm still a K-pop fan but just not like I'm not like searching every crevice mm -hmm. to find like a hidden gem or something yeah. like that basically we're all fans still yeah yes. but we're fans of different stuff or of older stuff and stuff that we like maybe yeah. not new stuff but stuff we we're still fans that of the groups and songs that we like yeah yes so okay. I, I think this is a good segue because the next question is going yeah. to be will you be reacting to k-pop videos still yes we still are but for me only the videos that i really personally want to watch 
um, and the music that I want to listen to. Now I'm not um, calling out anyone, but uh, it's it's uh, K-pop is way different than it was like five years ago, right? Um, but yeah, for sure we still will be reacting to the groups slash the idols that we like. Yes. Mm. Amen. We know we missed some comebacks, but at this point, like since we all have our like own personal lives, we can only really like kind of choose the ones that we would like to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why like we can't just watch every comeback or watch every single thing that comes out just because we're kind of busy with all mm -hmm. our own stuff. So that's why. But still, at least we still get, you guys still get, and we still get to enjoy some K-pop videos. Mm -hmm. We're still going to react to Nyon's Pop MV, the Blackpink MV, and all the other MVs that we know you all want us to see. So stay tuned for that. I think a lot of you guys don't really know is that we do listen to stuff outside of the reaction. Mm -hmm. uh, there are groups that we do listen to. Like I listen to Weekly a lot, but I still haven't watched or listened to anything new from them uh, because I became a freaking weeb. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a weeb now. He went full change. Think yeah. about this, guys. I spent five dollars. I immediately bought this thing. It's five dollars. I come home. It's ripped. Oh. Look at no! This. It's ripped. Kill it's ripped. Kill? Oh, yeah. Kill, look, kill, 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 kill. kill. It got ripped, and there's like thing there, right? That's why the title of this video is We're Back, But Things Will Be Different. Mm -hmm. And they really are. So, do you guys have any other closing statements? No. I just hope you guys. I don't know. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, it's... and answered a lot of questions that you guys had. Yeah, but yeah, it feels good to be back and like updating you guys because I'm sure a lot of people were curious on what happened to us. Mm -hmm. So yeah, nice to give an update and uh, yeah, stay tuned and hope you guys are along for the ride, even though things are will be different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just don't expect us to be as consistent as we were before like hosting a couple videos a week, don't expect that please. Uh, probably, it's even hard to like justify if we're gonna do even one video a month. But we, we can guarantee that each video that is going to come out is going to be a freaking banger. And that like more time and love is gonna go to each, each one of it. And I think that's, that's the whole point is like, quality over quantity and that has been happening honestly with this channel for like for me for years like the quantity has been more but the quality has not been yeah. to where we want it to be mm -hmm. lastly we love you guys honestly i miss you guys so much uh guys gals they everyone love you all so much especially if you're just watching like our twice reactions because we know you do we're black <laughs> <reactions. laughs> but we still love you all basically you guys watch the ones we like so yes yeah. That's a win win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but anyways, yes. stay safe, be happy. Oh. oh. Stay safe, be happy. And keep it snazzy. Oh, damn. No. What's what my I outro? Yeah, what, what is your outro? Oh. My dangle slurpers. <laughs> <laughs> this is awkward. It's been nine months. I don't know how we should close this. Uh, what we say? Peace, no? That's all. Oh, that's how I end my videos. Peace. We say peace. Peace. Oh. Like how we, I don't know. We do that, right? I, yeah, we see you guys. We do. Peace. Don't we do that? Later. I, I think we do. We, we say thank you so much for watching this video. Oh, <laughs> true. But th that's not, th we're not asking you to su subscribe. We're just giving you an update. But it would be nice. <laughs> yes, it would be nice. Um, but yeah. Um, bye. <laughs> bye.